Okay, this is the Bathy 500 video on how to install a new chart mech. You can start with the chart open as shown here. The first thing we're going to do is start disconnecting all the cables. The uh, power supply cable and the key, uh, key display cable from the CPU and then the data I.O. cable <coughs> and fix mark. The external fix mark. mark external fix mark and then note on the um, heave input connector there's uh, two wires you're gonna have to snip those two wires um, the new chart assembly comes with a connector attached, but in order to mount it to the panel, you have to uh, unsolder, both. unsolder it and then resolder it, paying attention to the two pins that are being used. Um, the red stripe wire goes to pin five, and the non stripe wire pin goes two. to pin two. And then all you need to do is unscrew the four screws from the chart mech to the uh, center plate. Stop. Okay, now that the four screws are removed, you can undo the transducer connector, slide it underneath through the chart, and carefully pull the chart. Be careful of these two ribbons have to come through and then the last thing is the serial cable has to come up through There's a light. Uh, there's also the light board uh, cable for illumination that has to be unplugged and slid through. Also is supplied in your kit, uh, Vibor, is the, a new power supply just in case that might have caused you any issues. So you can simply remove the two standoffs and the four screws to remove the power supply put the replacement power supply that we gave you in its place and then we can start uh, reassembling with the new chart recorder okay. alright so now comes the well, slightly more difficult part of putting it back together you might want to have two people doing this make it a little easier Gary is right now routing the cables through for the uh, power supply and uh, key display. You probably want to do these first before mounting the uh, chart recorder to the center plate because it will give you a little bit more room with your fingers. Okay, we got those two cables through. Now I kind of do the same thing with the uh, serial cable, the, I mean the data I.O. cable. Um, get it through. Alright. And the heave connector and Last thing, the light board uh, also has to get routed up through the slot in the metal and he's routing it around the standoffs, underneath the standoffs so he can get it through. Okay, now that we have the ribbon cables routed, um, we can put together the 
four screws to mount the chart mechanism to the center plate. Okay, we have the uh, four screws on the chart mech and we're putting the cables back in. This is the keypad cable. Gary, can you move your fingers for a second? This is the right here on the CPU. Uh, the connector that's closest uh, to the chart paper. Gary, can you move your finger for a second? I know you're trying to do this. That's where the the first connector is where the key uh, the keypad lighting goes. And now Gary is just putting the um, fix mark switch little uh, two pin connector he's just got the uh, the cable twisted around the standoff so it doesn't uh, get pinched when you close the chart and then that goes into the uh, the two pin header on the CPU that's uh, furthest away from the chart paper okay correction on that it goes into the two pin header which is second over the first one's a three pin the next one's a two pin that's where the mark switch goes okay the serial the data IO gets plugged in the 25 pin and then the two uh, Heave input wires will have to get restarted back to the heave connector. We'll get into that in a minute. The uh, right now the, the the key display gets plugged into the the rightmost um, CPU connector, and the power supply gets it plugged into this the leftmost the key display the rightmost and then the transducer connector gets plugged in so really the last thing is the uh, heave connector we're not going to show you the soldering on this but it's basically the red stripe wire to pin 5 and the gray wire with no stripe to pin 2